and I went to a horse show in Santa Barbara and I learned all these cool facts. So I'm going to do my video related speech on horse shows. So when you first, if you ever want to enter a horse show, there's always going to be a fee you have to pay that will be put towards the reward money. Once you get there and you got your horse ready and you're ready to enter a show, you always have to put your name tags on, one on the back of the rider, if you want to, to get extra points so you can put one on your saddle. So you get the prize money when you win. But what else do you pay? Well, you get a solid gold or silver belt buckle, depending on whether you get first or second place. And the cost for a belt buckle just to buy it is around $200. <laughs> then you also get ribbons. This is the ribbons from first down to sixth place. So, when it, if you're champion or reserve champion, you're champion's first place, reserve champion second. You'll for champion you get this tricolored ribbon and it'll go around the horse's neck. Reserve champion you get a different color. For when you're done and you received all your ribbons and prizes and everything, you will do a victory lap around the arena before you leave. So first the reserve champion goes and then the champion. Now I'm going to tell you about horse colors. There are many, many, many horse colors. And just these are just a few of them. The first one is chestnut, which is kind of like oak wood that's been lost. Yeah. And there's also bay, which is like your standard brown horse. And appaloosa, which is a freckled horse, and it's one of my favorites. Then there's dark bay and black. There are only two differences between dark blue and black, and I'm pretty sure none of you know what they are. The only difference, one of them, is that dark bay in the sunlight has a tinge of like a light, like that color. Just this one, I got the photo, so you can see the different. Like, here's one, here's um, and also if it's like winter and it's all shady and you can't see anything, another easy way to tell is look at the horse's tail. A true black horse would have just a solid black tail. A dark bay would have quite, not a lot, but not too little. They'll have some bay streaks at the very top of the tail, and it'll go back down about that far from the very, very top. Okay, now I get to tell you about different styles of riding that you do in the horse shows. Some of the different styles of riding are Western Pleasure, Reigning, and Costume. Western Pleasure is where you um, sit on the horse in the saddle and you just ride around and it's kind of like you're going on a trail. Well, they'll have two like big PVC pipes that are capped off at the end. And they'll have them so it's like kind of a road where they'll have one on each side and they'll do all these different twists and turns. So it's like you're riding through a trail. And they'll have you go up on boxes that are like bridges and all of these different things. One of them is a game. Well, it's a game. And it's two poles with a rope across. One, the rope is attached to one side. The other, it's just looped over. So it's like if you're on a trail, you have to open the gate, cross the road, close the gate, and then start on the other half of the trail. So the way you earn points for this is the more calm your horse stays when you're opening the gate and going out and closing the gate, um, you'll get more points. Another type is rain. It is very, very, very dangerous to do for you, the rider, and the horse. Because you can't just start on the horse brand new and everything. You have to first learn on a machine called a rain machine, where you sit down and it gives you the motion of the horse going as fast as you can. And then what you do is you have to yank back on the rein as hard as you can so that the horse just skids to a halt this huge cloud of dust. So it gives you that motion so you get used to it so you don't fall off. You're depending on the muscles that you built up, not the saddle. Because if you have muscles and you're relying on the saddle, there you go. So when you're reining, when you want to get a horse, the way to find out a good reining horse is that when it was first born, it stands up within one minute and it's just crazy. It's just a crazy horse that will go crazy and run and jump, buck, rear, all the different crazy horse things. Now, one of my, my favorite one in this 
is a costume riding, where wherever your horse is from, from Arabia or from like Indians, you'll wear a costume and dress your horse up like you're for Arabia. You'd be pretending the different style of riding. You'd be riding through the desert at the different speeds with your whole full headdress and huge cloak and the horse covered in all these things, which are these two. Or the native Indian one, where they have the normal pad, no saddle or anything. You dress up like an Indian, they have all the war paint and everything on. But that's not the only style of riding they do in shows. They also do dressage, side saddle, and country pleasure. So let's start with side saddle. In side saddle, you sit down like this, and you hold the reins of the horse. But it's easy to fall off, so they had this special saddle made where it comes up with the groove at the back. It has a little bit for your leg to go in, so it's set so you can't fall off. But if the horse freaks out, you want to lift it up and jump off before you die. Another type of riding is dressage. Some people get this confused with English riding because they look very similar. There's only two differences. There is, at the end, in the saddle, they have a groove from the front that goes up like this, and it gives a higher back. English, it goes to, it starts, it goes up, and it has a lower little back. And they have longer saddle flaps that go to about here, where English, they go to about here. And also, a different way to tell dressage from English is the type of writing we do. In dressage, you'll do all these different patterns and stuff. In English, you just do the normal, go around the Another third way is country pleasure. The way you tell this, they have an original outfit, which is a special hat, no helmet, and a longer coat that goes to about here. And you also, they have a stronger trot instead of just a normal trot. Thank you, and that concludes my visual aid speech.